you are alone, child. <sighs> there is only darkness for you, and only death for your people. These ancients are just the beginning. I will command a great and terrible army. And we will sail to a billion worlds. We will sail until every light has been extinguished. You are strong, child. But I am beyond strength. I am the end. Zarephus, the grim harvestman, god of accidental death, graveyards, and tragedy. His alignment is neutral evil, with domains including death, destruction, evil, plants, and war. His subdomains include blood, catastrophe, Daemon, Decay, Murder, and Undead. His favored weapon is a heavy pick. Centers of worship include Galt, Nidal, Cordyra, Taldor, Ustalov, and Varicia. His nationality is considered Kelishite. His only symbol is a pick made of a femur, a human skull, and a large rib. His sacred animal is the vulture, and his sacred colors are ivory and red. Xiphus appeared in Phrasma's boneyard as the first mortal to die an accidental and meaningless death. Enraged, he cursed the goddess and refused to accept her judgment. His wrath and the unique circumstances of his death bent his destiny and made him a godling, allowing him to escape his mortal fate. Xiphus is a malevolent, hateful force who seeks to bring ruin and sadness into the world and is responsible for many unexplained and senseless deaths. It's said every accidental death adds to his strength, so that some day he may grow powerful enough to usurp the place of his most hated rival the Lady of Graves. The god's mortal followers believe that the universe is ruled by chance rather than some grand plan. Bitter and cynical, they try to convince others that their faith in deities is misplaced, and set up traps and convoluted accidents to kill other people in Xiphus' name. They preach that those who are slain by accidents that they engineer do not travel on to Phrasma's boneyard, but are instead captured by the grim harvestman, their souls consumed and absorbed by his malignancy. His cultists wear holy symbols made of animal bones against their skin as constant reminders that death may strike at any time. Though Xiphus's faith is widespread, it is relatively small, even a large city might have only three or four of his worshippers. When his priests die, an unusual number raise as bodiless undead, most commonly alips, specters, and wraiths, to continue their work. Xiphus's church does not build permanent temples. Instead, they hold court in graveyards or mausoleums that have fallen from other deities' favor, or that otherwise no longer sit upon hallowed ground. Many graveyards have carvings on ancient arcs, vaulted roofs, and even gravestones to ward away Xiphus's attention, though the god's followers go out of their way to deface such marks to instead welcome him. Shrines to the grim harvestmen are typically stolen and defaced headstones, are bouquets of twigs and bones left at the sites of meaningless deaths. Clerics of Xiphus may prepare days, mage hand, bungle, and spectral hand earlier than those who do not serve him. Hello everyone. That covers Xiphus, the Grim Harvestman. I believe there is more information out there on him, but unfortunately I didn't have access to it. 
I really would have liked to have put that action in this video, as I think that Xiphus would make a great deity for a necromancer to serve. Perhaps later we can revisit these lesser known deities and give them a video that fleshes them out a bit more as the information comes to my hands. I'd be interested to hear how you've seen Xiphus used. Have you seen him as a PC's deity? Have you fought against him? Tried to kill him? Have you encountered his cultists? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, that finishes all of the minor deities. Next, we're going to go into ethnic-specific deities. Up first, we'll be covering the Dwarven Pantheon. That's right, Torag's not the only one. He's part of an entire family that makes up the Dwarven Pantheon. So look forward to that. And as always, have a great day. God bless and enjoy. This content was made possible by travelers and viewers like you. Thank you.